Welcome, forest friends. It's time to enter the forest and see what we discover. Open your mind and wander with us for a bit. Okay, let's just dive right in. We're looking at something pretty fascinating today. It's a new suite of AI coaches, the uh, student branches of the Alder Branch system, and they're designed to tackle what might be the biggest barrier for students. It's not capability, it's it's emotional resilience. Exactly. So what we're really trying to do here is get to the bottom of, well, the architecture of student perseverance. Mm -hmm. And you have to see these tools as schema expert entities. What does that mean exactly? Schema well, 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 expert entities. It just means they help students, you know, actively build a structure for their own thoughts and feelings. The whole point really is that these AIs are designed to to basically delete themselves from the process over time. So they fade out. They fade out. They use these initial support scaffold that are built to disappear. So the skills actually transfer to the student. I'm thinking about someone listening right now, maybe a college freshman who just, I don't know, bombed their first big exam mm -hmm. and they feel completely alone, like they're ready to quit. Mm -hmm. That's the exact scenario. And in this framework, an AI is right there, ready to listen and guide them through that failure. That's the emotional space we're talking about. It is. And the central guide for that journey is an entity we call Odysseus, the perseverance coach. Okay, Odysseus. Yeah. His whole focus is on long-term, sustained success. Wow. He's there to support the whole journey. So how does Odysseus do that? I mean, is this just a kind of digital pep talk? No, not at all. It's really rooted in evidence-based research. We're talking about taking Carol Dweck's work on growth mindset. Right, the growth mindset stuff. And Angela Duckworth's research on grit and actually operationalizing them. Odysseus translates those big ideas into, you know, real conversations and reflection exercises. But that kind of success, yeah. it needs more than just academic grit, right? It needs relational yeah. support. I see there's a whole squad of other AIs for that. Yes, absolutely. Because care and cognition are completely intertwined. You can't have one without the other. Emotional safety is really the bedrock for any kind of intellectual growth. So who else is in this, this perseverance squad? Well, for example, there's Carlos, the teen guide. He specializes in role-playing really tough emotional scenarios, like, say, a teen who just shuts down after an argument. And that's for the student to use. Actually, no, that one's for the parents and educators. It lets them practice de-escalation with, you know, empathy-driven language. Mm. We also have Amber for friendship dynamics and Silas, a career mentor, to connect school to a real personal vision. It's ambitious, certainly. But let's get to the operational side of it. Yeah. What's the ethical trap here? I mean, how do we make sure these tools are building real strength and not just dependency? That is the most important question. And the wow. answer is that the primary function has to be about building self-advocacy. Self-advocacy, okay. Students are prompted to build self-awareness. For instance, we use tools inspired by something called the Attention Literacy Framework, or ALF. That sounds a bit technical. It's a fancy term, I know, but it just helps students map out where their attention goes, their strengths, their weaknesses, so they can then ask for the right kind of support from their teachers and even their friends. So the AI is used for active construction for building that schema we talked about, not just passive consumption. It's almost like training wheels. That's the perfect metaphor. The AI gives them some stability, but the whole goal is to get those wheels off as fast as possible. Precisely. It's all about gradually fading those scaffolds to promote real autonomy. We want the student to become their own teacher. And that's how that freshman who started out needing Odysseus to walk them through a failure eventually owns their next success all by themselves. So if we tie this all together, these AI entities are acting as relational guides. They embody this core idea that emotional safety is the absolute foundation for resilience and growth. It is. And that really brings us to our final thought for you, the listener. If human connection is, as we believe, the very architecture of intellectual growth. And these tools are meant to enhance that architecture, not replace it. Exactly. So the question becomes, what opportunities will you seek out this week to intentionally build that trust and vulnerability? Knowing that connection fosters resilience, curiosity, and lifelong learning. Thanks for joining us on the Intellectual Hike, Forest Friends. Don't forget to visit us at www.alderbranch.org for more free resources and join our friends today. See you for another brain hiking adventure soon.